Greetings everyone, hello, this is Love My Anime and this video is kind of gonna be like a story time video but well maybe it is maybe it isn't I'm just gonna call it story time because I'm gonna basically explain all of you my connection to the anime fairy tale and why I love it so much and why it means so much in my life so let's see here I'm just gonna sit back have some juice Eat some pizza maybe. And let's go all the way back, years back, to when I first saw the first episode of Fairy Tale. Which I have no idea when that was. Oh <laughs> um, man, like I can't even remember who recommended Fairy Tale to me. I just I feel like it's always been in my life, which doesn't really make any sense, but yeah. Anyways. The first episode I saw, I was like, wow, this is actually a pretty fun anime. So, um, you know, I watched and it was just with Natsu and, and Lucy in the beginning. And I think I got to like maybe um, four episodes or so. This was like before Urza came around. and. The beginning episodes, I actually got, like, I got bored. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I didn't get fully bored, but I didn't get as hooked and attached as later on. And then I, you know, took a break, and then I continued to watch Fairy Tale. And that episode when Urza first appears, that was like, there she is the idol, the inspiration of what my mind just... Uh, I can't even think of the word, what is it? Um, it's like what my mind wants to be, basically. And I, I, I know there's another word for it, but it'll just come back to me later. Anyways, like, I see Urza and she's like stomping in and, and her attitude is like so big and strong and I'm like, you go girl! <laughs> like, I just, I felt such a strong connection with Urza and especially like her look, her appearance, her personality, like everything is like, it was over a hundred. It was over nine thousand! <laughs> oh, so... <laughs> oh, I had to do that. But anyways, yes, I loved Urza. I still love Urza. Like, that was the moment where I decided that Urza Scarlet is gonna be my number one favorite anime character out of all anime characters. Like, in every single, like, I love many anime characters. I love Misaka Mikoto from A Certain Scientific Railgun. I love Mirai Kuriyama from Beyond the Boundary. And I, I love, you know, like, um, Kisuke from Bleach and a whole lot of other characters as well. I love M M Mavis as well because she's adorable. But if somebody asked me, and I'm just gonna answer it right now, if any of you are curious, to who is my favorite anime character of all time that would be Urza Scarlet without a doubt like it doesn't even I don't even have to think about it the, the word is just like snaps right out of my mouth <laughs> that's like how much I appreciate her and like she's a fictional character yet she has like such a power over me that it's like it's very hard to explain in words. But anyways, continuing on, you know, like, watching it and the characters, you know, using their powers, it was, you know, all fun and cool going through lullaby and, you know, all that stuff. And, um, oh, oh yeah, well, well this, might, this video might have spoilers. Just, just, just a warning. But anyways, um, when I go, went through, you know, watching fairy tale, I felt like I was basically growing up with them. 
well, not growing up with it, but I, f I, I felt like everyone was a family, which, you know, fairy tale, it, it's all about friendship, friendship and, and family, which is what I love the most. Like, it, it, it kind of makes me laugh how the amount of friendship that the fairy tale members have would never work in our, in our world, which is kind of sad and, uh, well, can you do? But um, anyways, it really felt like I was basically a part of their life and I, I was basically in the background watching them grow up because, you know, you take characters like Mira who, you know, starts off as, you know, being sweet and gentle but then you, you start to see her like Satan's soul come out and you start to see her getting stronger and, and you know not being afraid to fight as much and then you know later on you have Wendy who starts off as a timid girl and you see her episode through episode through episode growing and her confidence building up more and more and more and she's less timid and more brave up to where like she uses the dragon force and oh my god it's like a whole new Wendy like you can tell that she changed so much and and, and then those other parts where like like fairy tale un unlike other animes, it feels like you're part of a family and a really close family because you you know their backgrounds as well like you know where they came from you know I I, I know Urza came from like a tragic background of being a slave and Mira getting chased out with her siblings by like their um, town's villagers and like Gray losing um, his teacher and all that stuff. It's like it's like when you know their backgrounds, they become more than characters. Like they become more than just oh, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna like watch this and have fun and that's it. It's like with with the next episode coming out, I got really excited because I wanted to see. Oh my god, like what are they gonna do next? Or like how how is you know Grey gonna act now or, or how have things changed? How have they, you know, upgraded or advanced or you know like stuff like that. Whew. But let me see. Yeah, that's um I hope that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> okay, um but yes, that's like why I love fairy tales so much, cause you feel a connection. Like I, I, I feel like I know the characters so well that they could just be like real. And when I, I, you know, like I, I could tell you the whole history of each of the characters, like what they like, what they don't like, what they've been through, and um, the advancements of the story of like me at the beginning when Juvia already loves Grey and Grey is like so distant but then you move on forward and forward and forward into like later arcs and you see that they're actually getting closer together so like the whole sto story just builds up more and more and more and you have those like wonderful moments of like just Oh, it's so hard to think of words right now. And of course, fairy tale is like number one tear jerker, tear jerking moments of all. Like, oh my god, the tear jerking moments of there's so many. There's so many from like Kana telling Gildarts that he is her father, and then Gildarts like, why didn't you tell me I had a daughter all this time? And and I was like crying so much and then L Lizana, you know, comes back and Mira and Elfman just, they just look so shocked and that episode when I watched it, I was bawling my eyes out like I was crying so much, I was like heavy breathing, I was like panting and 
that's another sad part when Wendy finds out her guild was, you know, a fake and she, she's like crying out for Master. That's another sad part. Maeve is getting killed by Zareph and Lucy, you know, um, sacrificing Aquarius for the key. It's like, they're characters, but you feel so much emotion towards them. And, I mean, I feel so much emotion towards them that when they start crying, I start crying and and even like when Juvia told Grey that she killed his fa his fa father um, through the, the necromancer, and Grey is like burying his head in her chest, saying "thank you" and "I'm sorry." Oh my God, that was like so many tears, just a lot of tears, like a lot of emotion. That's another reason why I love Fairy Tip because it's filled with so much emotion. Fairy tales like it's filled with so much connection. It's filled with so much emotion. It just it has so much bonding in it. Like I I, I feel like I couldn't stop watching because it, it was like a whole another family almost. Like that's how I see it. That's how. Um, my friends who also love fair fairy tales see it too, and it really is. And I just love the quotes as well, like a quote from Urza, a quote from Mavis, and it's just so beautiful, like pure beautiful. Like I, I, I feel like Hiro Mashima has created such a wonderful manga and anime that I love other mangas and, and animes as well. However, when it comes to to fairy tale, it like it's more closer to my heart. Like I, f I feel like it's a part of my heart now, and all the other characters and everything. Like especially the Urza. I mean, I'm making a huge cutout of Urza to have in my room, just standing there. Like that's call me crazy if you want. Like I really don't care because every time I see her, I just. I get so happy because I kind of like, I imagine what she would do in, in hard situation, what she would say, you know, what she would say to me, um, you know, to give me inspiration and, you know, things like that. And I, I mean, heck, this uh, fairy tale Guildmar that I have right here, it's a, it's, it's a permanent fairy tale tattoo, same as Urza's, and every time I, I, I look at this, I just, my heart fills with so much joy. It was like, I had to beg my parents for a whole year. Like, even though I'm 25, I do respect my my parents and I would never do anything without their uh, agreement. So they kind of kept on disagreeing because they're not really too big on tattoos. And, I, and I, I just kept asking and asking and asking and then finally they said yes and it was like, the greatest moment of my life like I can't even explain how happy it all makes me feel I could just have like fairy tale merch of everything and I'd be so happy but <sighs> but yeah that's I know I've been talking a lot <laughs> But I'm trying my best to, you know, explain why I love fairy tales so much, and I hope you guys uh, got it through all my talking. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's like, that's basically why I love fairy tales so much. It's, it's an amazing family, an amazing anime, amazing friends. Like, they're just so trustworthy, and, and how they put their lines ahead of others to protect each other and and all that stuff it just it makes me wish like you know what they have such good mottos and everything it's like i want to have friends like those so i um on cake i created my own fairy tale guild called the fairy tale second origins me and another friend i'm the master he's you know the kind of like the second master but you know, it was my, 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 my idea from the first time and we kept on, you know, a adding people who, who liked anime or fairy tale, you know, stuff like that. And in that group, 
we're all like a big family. Like we all live in different places. One, one, one lives in England, India, um, California, um, you know, uh, Australia, and like all other places. But unlike like other chat rooms where everybody's just like talking, and if you try to talk, you you know you you might not even get seen or even answered. I always make sure that in my my chat room or I, I don't like it to call it chat room. I like to call it my guild. I like to make sure that everybody is e is equal. So like you know if if you talk. Someone's gonna talk to you back. No one gets ignored. I, I make sure that you know everybody is like nice to each other and you know all that stuff. It's like basically how a you know members of fairy tale would act. You know we do get a bit silly, but other times like I like to make sure that you know everything is normal. <laughs> you know I mean that might. Uh, I don't even know if that makes sense or, or, or not, but it's a, it's, it's a lot of fun because like we've been together for like more than a, a year, more than two years actually, the, the group has been um, together and it, it's, it's like we just talk about whatever we want. Alright, so I think that's it. Like That is probably it. Yeah, so I don't know what else I could say about why I love fairy tale because I feel like I'm just gonna keep on repeating myself over things that I already did say. So I'm gonna um, stop right here. And that is it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any requests on a future video you would like me to do. Also, if this is your first time watching my videos, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button down below and the little notification bell as well so that you can know the next time I upload a video because the anime community is awesome and I'm making these videos just 